Path Pilot Quick Tips Robot Edition. So today is going to be a quick one. I'm just going to walk through starting the user interface, taking a look at how network updates are done automatically, selecting which version of the software you want to run and which configuration you want to run. So, desktop icon, Path Pilot Robot Edition. So once you've double clicked that, the first thing that comes up is the UI launcher. It tells you which version of the software you've selected to run, and it checks for network updates down here. If it found an update, which it won't because we just updated this one, um, it would offer you the chance to download it. And it can even download it in the background. The updates can be large at times, and so uh, you might just want to go ahead and start the user interface while downloading that update in the background. We go ahead and take a look at the available images that we have that we could run. These are all beta releases, and they have some kind of funky names. Version 0.2.3 beta release, but of course when the software is released along with the product launch late summer, uh, these will have more formal names. We'll go ahead and select the most recent one. And you see a change log that comes along with each one of these. Just like in regular PathPilot, you can always roll back if you find that we screwed something up, which we hope never happens. Also, you don't have to be network connected. If you download the image to a USB stick, you can load from USB. But I really recommend connecting your system to the network because you get a lot of benefits besides automatic updates. I'll agree to the EULA. And you'll see we have several configurations that we could run. There's a simulation configuration. We're not going to run that. But because we have this connected to a live robot, and the computer senses that there's a live robot connected to it. We can run the ZA6 configuration, or if we needed to master the robot, which we'll cover in a different video, we could run the mastering configuration. Mastering is something you really only need to do once every five or 10 years, perhaps not even that frequently, if you're vigilant about changing out the uh, battery backup on the absolute encoders. We'll hit start. And you can see the user interface is up and running. The software version that you chose is down here on the configuration label. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs>